I'm Michelle and welcome to Healthy Helpings TV, the show where we show you how to make food fun, healthy, easy to prepare. It's really the new fast food. Today we're talking tofu. I'm just going to show you a few different kinds of tofu and hopefully it'll kind of demystify tofu and make it a little bit less scary. Starting off with, we've got the fresh tofu here. Now this comes in plastic tubs in water and you'll probably only find it in your Asian grocers, some health food shops possibly as well. Um, now what this is, is kind of, it's got a firm texture but you wouldn't be able to stir fry it because it kind of falls apart. You can scramble it though, the same way you'd scrambled eggs, even maybe in combination with an egg. Um, now tofu is fantastic because it's a great source of protein and if you're eating a lot of protein you sometimes don't want to always just be eating meat. Um, this is something that will just make you feel really healthy. Um, I'll show you a recipe with that a little later on. For our first recipe we're going to be using this spicy tofu. Now this is a marinated firm tofu and a great thing for people who might not have experienced too much tofu. You can get this in all sorts of different flavours um, and it's becoming more and more widely available in grocery stores and supermarkets. Another one for people who are scared of tofu is uh, the tofu puff. Now what these are, are little sponges of tofu. You can see that they're nice and soft and um, they really soak up flavour. They're used in things like pad thai, which is a Thai stir fry with uh, rice noodles. Um, and also in things like laksa and lots of other Indonesian dishes. Now these are deep fried so they're probably a bit of a sometimes food. But they're absolutely delicious. If you're trying to get someone into tofu that might be a good way to start. Um, the other thing is you can freeze tofu. The texture will change to make it a bit chewier. So if you don't like the soft squidginess of tofu, it might actually be the way to go. Those tofu puffs I showed you, I keep in the freezer all the time and just pull out a few whenever I'm ready. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, for today's first dish, what we're going to be doing is a quick stir fry. I'm going to be using these soybean peas, which are fresh snap frozen green soybeans. You can see them there. Now they've been taken out of the pod. They're pretty much the same thing as enemy, but they've already been shelled. I picked those up in my Asian grocer, but again health food shops might be able to get those as well. And maybe some supermarkets too. We've got some cilantro. Brighten up the flavours here. I'm going to be using two different kinds of chilies. I've got uh, these little red ones, which are going to add a lot of heat. Um, I think they're called scud chilies, they're a Thai chilli. You can use whatever kind of chilli you want. And we've also got a green one here which is just going to add a little bit of crunch and the contrasting colours will make for beautifulness for the eyes as well as the taste buds. Clove of garlic or two. Garlic's absolutely beautiful in all sorts of cuisines and it's a great way to brighten up flavours also. And because we're sticking with a vegetarian dish here, I'm using a vegetarian oyster sauce. Now, if you're not worried about keeping this dish vegetarian, then you can go with regular oyster sauce. The vegetarian one's made from uh, mushrooms, oyster mushrooms, and has a nice rich flavour. It's a little bit salty, a little bit fishy, and a little bit mushroomy. Okay, now they're the basic ingredients, and that's pretty much all you need to get the dish going. And they're all things I normally keep in my fridge, so it's something I can quickly throw together for lunch or for dinner when I really can't be bothered. And you'll see in a sec, it only takes a couple of minutes. Now to make this dish extra special, I've got some uh, Chinese pickled radish here. Um, I'm going to throw a little bit of that in. It just makes a salty kind of tart texture to it. And I'm also going to chop up a few scallions here just to uh, make for more visual appeal again. Um, now if you're using the scallions, buy them nice and fresh and you can use all the greens all the way up to the end. Lovely. Okay, so I put my wok on. I'm just preheating that because I've got an electric stove. It'll just take a little bit of time to come up. I'm just going to put in a quarter of a teaspoon of peanut oil. Now peanut oil is good because it's got a high smoking point, which is why they use it a lot in Asian cooking. You can also use vegetable oil. And I'm just going to use a brush just to spread that round just a little bit. Now my wok's non-stick anyway, so it shouldn't be too much of an issue. Alternatively, you could use uh, a spray oil as well. This one probably wouldn't be so good because it's olive oil and that actually burns at quite a low temperature. Okay, so once your wok's up to heat, it's just a case of throwing everything in. We're going to start off 
with our chilli and garlic and we're just going to throw that into the pan. Along with a little bit of salt just to make that get nice and crunchy. And just stir that around. Okay, so once the smell of that garlic really starts to get to you and the chilies, you know, the, it really gets really uh, smoky, that's when you're ready to start throwing in your soybean peas. Now, traditionally, this recipe is called BBC, which is broad beans and bean curd. And um, I'm using soybeans instead. Um, they're chock full of fibre, they're really good. You've probably got about half your daily intake of fibre right here in the 80 grams or two and three quarter ounces. So I'm going to throw that in. You get a beautiful sizzle. Along with uh, about a teaspoon of that pickled radish. And we're just going to stir that round just until the beans start to thaw. Next I'm just going to throw in the tofu and the chopped up scallions. I'm just going to keep moving that around. You really have to have everything ready when you're doing a stir fry. And we're just warming that tofu through. Next, one tablespoon of the oyster sauce. Now, oyster sauce could be substituted for soy sauce. Uh, this has got more carbs, but soy sauce has more sodium, so you're balancing it out. But then there is potassium to counteract the sodium in the beans, so you might be alright anyway. Both soy sauce and oyster sauce here are quite low in calories. Give that a quick toss around, it'll caramelise very quickly. And that's pretty much it, just pull that off the heat, just tearing the cilantro up and just tossing that in there. I don't really ever chop many of my leaf herbs just because all the flavour then gets left on the chopping board rather than in the pan. Now the amount I've shown here is enough just to serve one person. But of course you can just multiply the amount of ingredients out. The cooking time will be about the same. If you're cooking huge amounts then you might want to do it in a couple of batches. But you can see beautiful fresh colours and flavours. Now for a quick tasting. Mmm. It's just got crunch from the broad beans. And there's serious spiciness from those little red chilies, and the freshness that you've got just from adding the the green bits of the uh, scallions at the end, lovely. Okay, so the second dish I'm going to show you is so simple and quick. I throw this together sometimes for breakfast, but some people think that's a little bit weird. Um, anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a quarter pound of tofu, or 125 grams. Now that's a one pound tub, uh, so I'm just going to cut a quarter of that out. Now this is that fresh tofu, this is actually made just up the road from me which is kind of cool and um, this is the one I was telling you, you really need to do uh, keep in water and keep changing the water. So I've just got a little piece here, I'm just going to give it a light squeeze, it's pretty soft so um, not squeeze it too much. Anyway and just put that straight onto my serving plate. Now straight onto that all you do is Great, a little bit of ginger. I love ginger. Ginger is one of my favourite things. And if you're, you know, in the middle of cold and flu season up in the northern hemisphere, this would be fantastic because ginger is great for when you, you've got cold and flu. Also, it's good for stomach. It kind of settles your stomach. Um, and it's really great for circulation as well. So if it's cold and you've got bad circulation, this is great. But I love eating this in summer, which is what we've got here right now, because it's a no-cook meal. Okay, so I've got that and I'm just going to chop up one of these scallions here.
maybe even just half. I think one might be a little bit much for one person. And just put a few of those on top. Now this is definitely for the tofu connoisseur. If this is your first time eating tofu, you probably don't want to go straight for this. You might find that a little intense. But it's a great little high protein snack that you can do, low in carbs as well. Okay, now we're just going to make a quick sauce to go with that. I'm going to use some sesame oil. I'm just going to use a quarter of a teaspoon. Now this has a beautiful nutty flavour. It's great to finish any dish off with this one. Okay, so we just got a quarter of a teaspoon of sesame oil and then I'm using some top quality soy sauce here and I'm just going to pour on one tablespoon. If I can see where I put my tablespoon. Ah, there it is. Okay, so about a tablespoon in there, maybe just a little bit under and just mix that around. You can grate a little more ginger there if you want and just drizzle that on top of your tofu and it's as simple as that. Now I've also taken the green bits here of the scallion and I've just cut them into some nice little strips just for presentation just on top. Okay now to taste the tofu I love this now this is just perfect thing to have on a hot uh, roasty day um, today it's over 100 degrees Fahrenheit, over 40 degrees uh, Celsius. I don't want to do any more cooking. So this is great. This is the kind of meal you eat on one of those days. Mm. And just that subtle flavour of the sesame oil has already permeated right through the tofu. Just in a little bit of time it's just been sitting in that sauce and had the sauce soaking on it. Absolutely delicious in contrast with the, mm, that lovely ginger flavour. I could eat ginger on its own though. And then just the that spring onion flavour, crispy and fresh. Oh, it's just one of the most kind of natural tasting things you could have. Another episode done and dusted. Hope you've learnt a little bit about tofu and different ways to cook it. Something for people who might not have uh, had, had tofu before and something for you tofu buffs as well. Uh, don't forget to check out healthyhelpingstv.com for other episodes including episode 3 which had a tofu chocolate mousse which is absolutely delicious. It's one of those things where you definitely couldn't tell there was tofu in it. So I'm going to get stuck into this. Uh, also don't forget to check out gnmhealth.com who present this show every week. They've got all sorts of other, other great pod and vodcasts showing you other things to do with health, fitness and lifestyle. Uh, my name's Michelle. I'll catch you next time. See you later.